Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I'm Brother Pino, and uh, this is my revert story how I uh, came to Islam. And alhamdulillah, it's been a bit of a journey, but uh, I can safely say um, coming to Islam was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Now, this all started uh, some 14 years ago, and that's how long I've been a Muslim. And, uh, but prior to that, I'd, I'd, I'd like to just talk about who I was and what I did before I became a Muslim. So I, I, I used to live in the UK and I was quite a popular guy um, in the town that I lived in. But uh, generally of my it Italian lineage, I was raised as a, as a Catholic. So um, as, as kids, my, my parents tried to take us to church um, and uh, we, we never really enjoyed going to church. We hated the journey there because we had to walk. So we were naughty on the way there and and uh, we were when we got to the church we were naughty in church so my, my mother would um, you know tell us to be quiet and maybe give us a slap on the wrist and uh, when, I, when I was in the church I just never felt comfortable in there I just felt it was just somewhere I just didn't want to be and so of course um, my mother she, she actually stopped taking us to church after a while because she could see it was just uh, wasting her time and everybody else's time. So as a, um, as a Catholic, it, we, we weren't really practicing Catholicism as, as such. But um, as we went into our teens, um, uh, uh, Catholicism was, went really quiet in, in, in our household. And um, my mum never really mentioned about, you know, our, our Catholic ways and things like that. It kind of went, went almost dormant as such. And then um, in, in my mother's, in my late teens, my, my mother started to go out a lot uh, on a Tuesday night and I thought she was just going to Bible studies and things like that and, um, and I thought she was coming back to her Catholicism. And um, later on I found out that my, my mother had uh, dropped uh, Catholic faith and became a Jehovah's Witness um, and it was those with all due respect those were very tiring years because each time my mother had gone to learn about uh, the Jehovah faith uh, she'd come home and she tried to pre preach it to us and again it just didn't sit well with me and I, I didn't like it um, but there was there was one thing I never forgot and I never dropped that I always believed in one God, regardless what my mum said um, and what she tried to uh, get us to, to believe. So um, for many years I just believed in one God, never believed that Jesus was uh, the, the biological son of God as such. Um, and you know I went through my life always believing there was one God and I just, I never um, saw a church and thought I'd have to do, you know, the, the, you know, the, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, and everything. Never did that, um, but always just remained firm. There was one God. Now I had, like everybody else, I I, I had bad luck in my life uh, before I became a Muslim. But um, there, and mainly most of the time it was always my relationship with women, and I, I was never lucky with, with women in the UK. And I can remember times when I used to go down to the bottom of the garden in my mum's house and I would actually make a dua to Allah asking him to reward me with a, a beautiful woman. And it was only until 2004, 2005 when I started coming to Australia I met my wife and, um, and her being from Indonesia, a Muslim of course, um, she made it quite clear from the start that if I wanted to be with her, um, this I'd, I'd have to convert to Islam, um, and become a Muslim, and practice the faith, um, and didn't really think much about it. I just yes, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. So those were the main one of the two main reasons I uh, came to Islam was one I wanted to be with my wife, and two I, I took this opportunity of having 
uh, using Islam as the right guidance for me. Now, um, I've been a Muslim now for 14 years and like I said, it, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, now, over the last sort of five or six years, uh, I've been really studying Islam, practicing uh, Islam seriously. Um, I, I, I regularly do dawah um, and I try and encourage other people that who have no faith at all. Um, you know, uh, if they're seriously looking for guidance, maybe they should consider Islam. Um, at, at the same time, you know, uh, my son, um, he, I, I raised my son to be, you know, a practicing Muslim. He's 12 years old. Uh, he can read and speak uh, Arabic and he can read the Quran. And, and that makes me really proud um, of, of him and having the fact that he, he takes Islam very seriously as well. So, in, in a nutshell, me coming to Islam was very, very simple and easy and, and, you know, I truly believe and I tell a lot of people that I was destined to become a Muslim because I was doing things that Muslims do when I wasn't a Muslim. I, I didn't eat pork, I didn't really like drinking alcohol, um, I didn't really uh, like gambling and things like that. And, uh, committing any sexual immorality and things like that. So I actually truly believe I was destined to become a Muslim. And alhamdulillah, um, here I am today. Um, I'm able to you know, relay my story for brothers who have just come to Islam and or for those who are you know, seriously thinking of coming to Islam. Um, there's no better guidance than Islam and like I said, it's, it, it's been so good to me and I, and I can't thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enough for, for guiding me to this deen. So in, in a nutshell, that's pretty much me, how I came to Islam. And I'd like to just say to those who are watching this, that if you're considering coming to Islam, maybe go to your local masjid, uh, speak to an imam or if you know any of any your friends are Muslims speak to them um, and they, they will uh, uh, You know give you the right information and encourage you if you want to go to the masjid and see how the Muslims pray um, Inshallah, you know, Allah will guide you. So that's me. I'm, I'm brother Pino. That's my revert story and Alhamdulillah um, I hope it's all uh, been helpful for you, for those who are watching this film. Jazakallah and assalamu alaikum. When I first accepted Islam, I knew that I, I had to tell my mother and my, my, my rest of my family. And um, I thought, well, I'm not going to hide this from them for very long. And when it became aware to them, and I told them, I, I, I told them from when I was living over here, over a phone call, and uh, it didn't go down very well, unfortunately. But I thought, well, you know, sooner or later, they will, um, you know, have to accept it. And, and they did. It, they got used to the idea, and my mum would, Every month I'd ring up my mother and my mum would always ask me, are you still a Muslim? Are you still a Muslim? I said, of course I am, mum. You know, I'm, I'm not going to uh, uh, drop my dean for, for nobody. But yeah, it was, it, it was a bit hard for them to accept. But alhamdulillah, you know, they, um, they, they got used to the idea. But other than that, um, there wasn't really anything more difficult than that. Um, one of the, or the, the best thing that appeals to me about Islam is n none other than the guidance and, uh, and, and this can be found uh, in the Quran and I, I love reading the Quran um, I, and purely the, the guidance of Islam um, makes you a better person than you can ever imagine. I used to think I was a good person um, but until, uh, as soon as I embraced Islam um, what I thought I was before was, was, was irrelevant. Um, alhamdulillah, this is what appealed me to, to Islam, was the guidance. 
um, keeping you on the straight path and abstaining from like poisons of society. Islam is, is so much different from what I used to follow before because uh, as I said earlier on I wasn't really much of a practicing uh, Catholic and I think there there was just no appeal to it and um, and I think it was pretty much introduced to me at a later age um, you know I was only like sort of seven eight years old when my mum tried to get us to practice Catholicism but Comparing it with Islam, Islam is so much more appealing um, and it, 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 it's simple. It's worshipping the one true God and following the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad So it's very, very simple, inshallah. Um, I've been regularly uh, sharing my uh, knowledge of Islam with non-Muslims on a regular basis. Um, I'm part of uh, Islam Australia's Dawa team and uh, we go out, we go to festivals, we go to the city um, and we, we set up a stall and uh, we, we speak to non-Muslims all day long. Um, and we answer all their questions and this also gives me a good opportunity to speak to the public and relay my story to them of how I uh, came to Islam, uh, a British born Italian that now reverted to Islam. So using the Dawah also gets me to, to relay that message and, and you, you, it's so surprising how a lot of people are interested how somebody like myself uh, is following this beautiful Dean. Um, I've, I've, got, I've got some really good advice that I'd like to give to the, uh, the Muslim youth of today. Um, I'd like to say that you have this beautiful Dean and practice it as much as you can. Don't leave it to the last minute. Uh, don't think of the, the, the worldly amusements and that's what I think that a lot of the youths today, the Muslim youths, um, are struggling with. They, they find that they don't have no time to go and pray, um, they, they don't want to uh, you know, abstain from the, the things that Islam tells them not to do. You know, they'll go and drink when they shouldn't drink. So all I can say is that use this deen while you have it because it it's the best thing that you know that you you can possess. There's there's no, no, no other thing on this world that you can man can um, possess other than Islam. Um, so I would strongly encourage the, the youth of today is to practice Islam and um, take it seriously, and um, you know and make the most of it. And then you can then share your stories and advice to other Muslims or non-Muslims. Inshallah.